All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I'm here today for a Tokyo Treats review video. Now, I wanted to actually get this fully complete with the audio and everything, but unfortunately, the original video, which was like 30 minutes long, I don't know what happened. Every single part of the audio got this weird, corrupted, robotic noise to it, and it's just extremely unfortunate that this did happen. But if you guys could go check them out down below, you can use my affiliate link. I'll link it down, and you guys can actually uh, be able to try this out for yourself. So, the very uh, first item that I got in this box was actually a uh, Kit Kat, and it was this weird uh, Japanese sake flavor Kit Kat, which um, I do recall it actually tasting pretty good. It had a very fragrant, uh, sort of almost like perfumey type of flavor, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it tasted pretty good, so um, I would highly recommend uh, out of all of these trying to uh, you know have an open mind and heart about all this stuff. Um, unfortunately, it got all melted, as you can see, and I do a little smell test, and it was, like I said, it was very intense, uh, perfume, fragrant, potent sort of smell. Uh, the description I'm using is probably not the best but um if you if you try it yourself you'll you'll know what i mean it's very hard to describe the flavor but um i was pretty surprised by the flavor it tasted i mean it tasted damn good to me i i actually thoroughly enjoyed it man but <laughs> dude just kind of looking back at it it's weird always seeing your own reactions to food and stuff whenever you know you're seeing yourself doing it and not actually doing it at that time but uh yeah that one was not too shabby at all you know it, it's it's a kit kat i mean you can't really go wrong with it it had that wafer on the center and everything you know it was just that outer coating that was all melted but it was very creamy uh overall the second item on my list was actually this like cabbage flavored popcorn and I'm going to be honest, it was surprising to see that it was actually by Frito-Lay. I did not know that Frito-Lay made uh, Japanese popcorn. That, that, I don't know. I mean, I guess I guess anything could make anything nowadays. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's 2020. Literally anything can happen. But uh, the smell, it just smelled like literally regular popcorn. And it tasted like regular popcorn. I don't recall it really having much of a uh, strong flavor. It had like a powder kind of on it it was very hard to see but it was like an almost like yellowish orange powder and it kind of just reminded me uh more of like you know that white cheddar smart pop that you would get at school or that they sell at the store that's already you know pre-packaged and bagged and everything it has that kind of almost weird sogginess to it which i actually do enjoy it's pretty good but um yeah you can tell from my reaction i was just kind of like ah, just tastes like regular popcorn was bad by no means it was amazing it was uh, you know, just regular popcorn, which I do enjoy, but didn't taste like cabbage by any means, but it said Mike on there, which I was like, what? <laughs> what? Mike? Mike brand? I guess? I guess that's the brand. But yeah, not too bad. Item number three on the list was actually delicious. So this was something that was kind of in the last uh, review that I did, uh, which was uh, Boksu. It was like, I don't, I don't know, it's very hard to describe. I think it was a rice snack and, um, or it could have been corn just because it tasted more like a Cheeto. But uh, just the overall look of it, it's like a really long Cheeto with a hollowed center. And uh, the powder on it was this like sweet, spicy, a little bit fishy. It was very umami flavor. You can tell by my reaction. <laughs> I really, really did enjoy this one. Um, it tasted exactly like the one that I had in the last box. Uh, very good. Uh, I'm glad that I did get to experience the flavor at least once before because... Um, I probably would have been taken off by it a little bit, kind of like, whoa, because <laughs> it's got a lot of different flavors. It's salty, uh, it's more sweet than anything. Like, at first I thought it was like cinnamon, but I smelled it and I was like, okay, that smells literally like uh, Cheeto Puff. So, best way to describe it, it's a Cheeto Puff that's like massive, it's a gigantic cylindrical tube thing. <laughs> but uh, the hollowed center part, I'm not sure why they do that. That's uh, kind of weird. Uh, I would prefer just one, you know, huge thing but pretty good item number four this thing was like a weird like chocolate bar uh that was definitely rice i do recall it being rice it was um weird because it had this like peanut guy on there. <laughs> this is a peanut dude with the little backwards hat on uh but this one yeah it was so light and fluffy on the inside it wasn't like three musketeers or anything not that kind of like you know weird moose thing but no it was definitely 
uh, some type of rice uh, in the center of it. And it was coated with chocolate. It almost had a nuttiness to it. I assume it had maybe some peanut butter in it, but I couldn't really tell because it was a very faint flavor. The chocolate was extremely overpowering, uh, very creamy. Everything in this box that was more desserty based uh, was pretty creamy. And I, I'm, I'm, you know, pretty satisfied by that. I'm glad that they actually, you know, made it very very uh unhealthy for you <laughs> but i mean it's candy it was it was delicious my reaction to it, you could tell i was like that was uh whoo yeah i said it right there i remember i said it's it's sweet it's definitely got a ton of sugar in it but um i mean it's candy what do you expect <laughs> i was a big fan <laughs> The next item on my list, it was very hard to take out because everything got melted and I was a little bit disappointed by that, but it was just a gummy burger. Literally, you can tell from my reaction. If you ever had, you know, Krabby Patty burger candies or whatever from SpongeBob, it's exactly the same thing. It just has like an orange and fruity flavor. That's pretty much it. Very, very basic. Next up here was probably my favorite thing out of everything on the list. It was these, uh, again, these like Cheeto puff ball things. Uh, I guess you could call them like Cheetos asteroids or cheese balls, whatever you want to call them. They were these big puffs. And I didn't understand this, like the seasoning on, on the very top from appearance, but ooh, man, my reaction. If you guys like Indian food or any type of South Asian food, you will love this. This is the best thing in my opinion. Uh, tons of like... I guess Indian inspired spices, which had, uh, I guess like almost like a turmeric flavor, cardamom or whatever it is that's inside of it. Um, just really, really heavily spiced flavor. It was delicious. Best thing on the list by far. Next thing here was, again, it was all melted and very hard, but uh, you know, it, it was a jelly green apple sort of candy thing. Um, I've had these at Vietnamese stores before. They're pretty good. Again, just a fake artificial apple flavor. Nothing too exciting, but decent. Next up here was another candy. Uh, these were kind of almost like Smarties in a way. I think it was like an orangish citrusy flavor. Uh, it really, really does dissolve in your mouth very quickly, but um, as you can see on my tongue, <laughs> it was uh, it was pretty good. I mean, most of the candies I've I've pretty much had all these before. Pretty basic. All right, so this one was actually pretty cool. It had this like illustration of a dude boxing. I'm not entirely sure why, <laughs> but maybe it's based on like uh, that cartoon or whatever that anime is, uh, depending on if it was a cartoon or, I don't know. I guess in Japan, it's all just anime, <laughs> I guess. But uh, no, excuse my ignorance. Um, I think this was ramen, like little ramen, dried ramen uh, snacks or whatever. Pretty sure it was a type of like flowery noodle thing. It's almost like the noodles that they put on top of, uh, I guess like your entrees or whatever you eat at like an Asian restaurant. Uh, it was it was pretty good. It was like a, just a very savory flavor. Don't recall it really being super intense, but I liked it. Next up here was actually a very adorable packaging on it. Um, I believe it was Hello Kitty, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, basically it had three different flavors. I'm assuming like a cherry, a strawberry, and an orange. So these are actually pretty good. They just, I'm gonna be honest, they just tasted like regular hard candies. Reminded me of uh, citrus vitamin C drops that you get like from Halls or whatever. Uh, that'd be good for your throat, I guess. They're, they're just like lozenges. Pretty good though. I mean, very decent flavor. The orange was obviously the best because orange usually tastes pretty good even if it's artificial but yeah again very standard all the candies were just like kind of eh, you know i've tried it before pretty good all right so this one right here was actually delicious uh probably i want to say my maybe my second or third favorite definitely in the top five out of all these because there were a lot of snacks um there were these triangular crackers and they reminded me of uh i think it's is it nabisco's brand or whatever just that kind of like trademark brand in general and uh, these, the flavor, uh, the very first thing that hit me with it was a very sweet flavor. And um, it almost tasted like if you ever had garden vegetable ritz, that was exactly, exactly the flavor. It even showed on the picture, it was like an onion and like a tomato on it, and like a carrot. It was pretty good. I really, really did like that. Would go great with some like spinach dip or something like that. That was good. That was a good one. 
So this one right here was another cracker, Porique, Por Porique. Uh, this one was kind of underwhelming. It showed like some kind of stew or soup on, uh, you know, the cover with this like little chef guy. Maybe like a hot pot based thing, but I was assuming it was gonna have almost like a, a meat kind of beefy flavor or some kind of, you know, chicken, you know, you know that artificial, not artificial, but like, you know, that flavor that they would normally have. But uh, they kind of reminded me of Pocky because they were like a long stick or whatever. Uh, they were pretty good, just savory, very sweet again, kind of like the garden vegetable looking triangles the triforce pieces that i ate but uh yeah this one was uh, not as good as the vegetable ones i like those a lot more okay so this one right here was awesome all right so there's like this little character on there i'm not sure exactly what that was but the smell was absolutely intense it smelt like shrimpy fishy oceany kind of smell and i'm pretty sure they were like little mini shrimp chips if you ever had shrimp chips from like a vietnamese store um i think you would have liked this one i thought it was pretty good though i actually do like that flavor um again it has you know the shrimpy fishiness does add that umami and then i found like a piece of like string on my arm or whatever <laughs> but yeah uh the inside of it it almost had like they were like these like three dimensional shapes or whatever i like the shape of it It was very unique and cool but yeah i really really did like that i gave it the the ache okay <laughs> All right, next up here was the worst thing on the list, in my opinion. I did not like this one very much. Uh, the very outside of it was pretty good. It was creamy. Uh, I felt like the flavor was decent. But the main issue with it was the inside was gummy-based. And I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but they came in these uh, other, like, individually wrapped packages or whatever. And it was, like, the weirdest thing ever. It crumbled. It was, like, crumbling apart, like, the outside of it it and then like oh god just looking at it again Ugh. there were like these like little yeah it's like a very very intense chocolatey flavor so i tried to bite the outside and then i saw that there was that gummy center and it was just yeah you can just tell from my face i was not a fan of this one probably like i said the worst one on the list um again none of it was uh like disgusting flavored i thought flavor wise everything was pretty good but consistency wise on this one i don't know about that maybe you guys might like uh that weird gummy thing but um it just tasted super super artificial and it was uh just not a good combination of i guess textures on that that was a, a yikes for me all right so this one was pretty cool it was like the brand i guess cream colin colin or something like that again this one was a type of sakura blossom japanese sake type of thing um it was again very unique flavor tasted almost near exactly like the kit kat in a way but um it was like a little cookie kind of reminded me like the packaging was like this metallic rose super saiyan rose packaging but uh it had like a green outside and a pink inside and it kind of reminded me of like appearance wise it reminded me of like a combo if you had a ever had a combo where it's like the pretzel outside and like the cheesy inside or whatever i really did like that one it was pretty good uh very unique flavor uh reminded me of that kit kat a lot but yeah pretty solid and um intense fragrant flavor once again very perfumey all right so this one came in a gargantuan package like it was huge like that was probably the best value out of everything in there um by the brand nissin or nissin nissin I, i'm not sure how you pronounce that i've uh, seen that at asian stores and probably um whenever my uncle he went to japan he brought some things back and some candies i think he did bring back that nissin i do recall that brand but uh not only does it come in a big package but it's a pack of four so there's inside there are four different individually wrapped packages with five different crackers slash cookies i think they, they were cookies on in, on like the inside or whatever but um they kind of remind me again of that like nabisco brand uh just like the overall thickness of it very very uh, moist kind of cracker now the very top i know it kind of looks like it's like oily or some kind of moisture at the very top it's not it's actually a glaze like a type of sugary glaze on it and it was uh very very sweet reminded me of almost like a vanilla-ish kind of flavor so it had like uh almost like that you know basic vanilla flavor it was actually i think advertised to be a green tea flavor but didn't really taste like that at all in my opinion but i mean it was still solid very sweet i enjoyed it 
All right, so I saved the best for last. This was probably uh, one of the cooler ones that I really, really wanted to try. And unfortunately, I couldn't do it frozen just because um, I was trying to get all this into one video. And I didn't really have a lot of time to freeze that. But uh, basically, it was a Coca-Cola uh, lemon flavor. So a cola and lemon flavor combination on this one. I thought it was pretty dang good. I'm not going to lie. Um, it just literally tasted like... Uh, you know, just Coca-Cola and everything without any carbonation, which uh, I guess it's not always the best. The carbonation really does add to soda and everything, but uh, the lemony sort of zest to it was uh, the good kicker. It wasn't necessarily sour. It wasn't like making me pucker up or whatever, but I bet this did taste just as good frozen. Uh, obviously, the, f the frozen aspect of it was what they advertised, but uh, it was just a very liquidy base inside there, and you just kind of sip it. Reminds me of those like little apple sauces on the go that you can sip kind of like that you know for like little kids but um i'm assuming you know it, it would have tasted probably just as good if not a little bit better uh frozen but yeah flavor wise was delicious i i give it a thumbs up <laughs> the only uh i guess drink uh base type of candy if you want to consider it that that was in there so my overall review um i definitely have to say the frog cover uh, the little frog policeman with the curry. It, I think it was a curry flavor. I'm pretty sure it was a curry flavored, um, I guess, like cheese ball thing or not even cheese, but uh, that was probably the best. And then the choco uh, chocolate covered thing with like the gummy thing, that was the worst because of the consistency. But flavor wise, everything was really good. Uh, unique flavor wise, I would have to say the Kit Kat as well as uh, that little cookie that looked like a combo. Those uh, were probably the most unique flavors. Very fragrant um, acquired taste that you have to kind of enjoy. But overall, um, delicious. I loved all of it. And uh, hopefully you guys can try this out for yourself. Again, big shout outs to Tokyo Treats for coming through and uh, sponsoring and partnering up with me for this video. I do apologize again for the audio getting all screwed up. I wish it didn't happen, but you know, stuff like that does happen. So use my affiliate link down below if you want to try this out for yourself. I do recommend um, always kind of, you know, broadening the horizons and going out of your way just to try out some new uh, delicious treats and stuff. Uh, I think it's a cool experience overall. So shout out to Japan. Much love to them. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, ring that notification bell for more content coming your way. Have a good one. Peace.